Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine, and today I have a huge haul for you guys. So we've got some good stuff from Sephora, Garage, H&M, Windsor, and then also another very exciting purchase for me, a new designer bag. All right, so first I will start off with the new bag. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because I will be doing a what's in my purse and basically talking all about it because you guys have been asking for that already. So this is the new Michael Kors bag that I purchased. I do still need to double check on the exact name and style that it is, but I will go ahead and have like all of that information in the what's in my bag video for you guys. But here's a quick little sneak peek. I love it. It's so cute. I've been using it literally every single day so far and it's my new favorite bag i'm actually selling all of my other bags on my poshmark so if you guys are interested i will have my poshmark linked down below for you guys i'm selling like every single other bag that i have because now this is going to be like the only bag that i'm going to use for a while next up we have sephora we have a few little goodies in here and some samples so the first thing that i picked up was this fenty beauty pro filter concealer this stuff is awesome i am in the shade to whoa I'm in the shade 230. Honestly, the packaging of this stuff is literally gorgeous. I'm in love. It's so pretty. I'm wearing it today under my eyes. This stuff is amazing. I've been using it for a little while now and so far I really like it. I also picked up a new lip gloss. I've been wearing a ton of matte lip colors and my lips just get so dry by the end of the day that I find that if I'm putting this over top of any of the matte liquid lips that I'm wearing, it kind of saves it so that way my lips aren't like drying out. This is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine and this is in the shade Naked. It's just like a really pretty clear gloss that goes on. It totally has like a red tint to it but when you apply it, it's way more clear than what it looks like in here. And then as far as samples, I just picked up a new mascara. This is their Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. This I actually used on my eyelashes today. I used this because the brush is so thin. It's definitely not for volume. It's somebody texting me. It's not for volume. It's definitely like I use it to like spread out my lashes. Like you can kind of see if it wants to focus. Like it's very, very thin. It's definitely not like a volumizing kind of mascara but I like using this at the end because I'll put like four different mascaras on to get like that full look and then I use this to like separate out all of my lashes at the end and then I also got a sample of the Algenist um this is their collagen my friend told me that this was really good so I'm actually super excited to try this out I also got some of their Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and then another smoothing primer this is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer so these are all like little sample sizes which i think will be fun because i can try them out and decide if i want to purchase the bigger products all right so that is everything that i picked up from sephora next we're going to move on to clothing i have everything kind of set up over here so i will start with garage this is honestly like my newfound favorite store i literally didn't even know it existed until my friend from canada told me about it and i was like oh, wow love it spent a lot of money the first time that i went i've literally been wearing these clothes over and over again so the first thing that i picked up are these gray sweatpants these are like their gray joggers i love these these are so soft and cozy literally just like the perfect go-to jogger like i wore these out to class last week and they were so nice i love them literally amazing i think these ones were like 34 dollars i have already worn them a crap ton so <laughs> i'm really glad i picked those up next thing that i picked up are these white ripped jeans and these are also like cropped at the bottom they've got lots of different rips going through them i love these i don't actually own a pair of white jeans so I saw these and they were on sale. These were normally $50 and I got them on sale for $25. So I figured that'd be really awesome. They're also going to be perfect for like spring and summertime. The other thing that I picked up from Garage, I'm sure you guys have literally seen a ton. If you follow me on Instagram, I've literally worn it in like every photo that I've posted lately. But it's just this really pretty beige cropped 
sweater it's super soft super cozy i love the like uneven cut at the bottom next up we have some pieces that i actually got a while ago probably like a month ago and i never actually showed you guys in a haul or at least i don't think i did show you guys um but i did want to show you for like those of you that are still in like the working corporate world these are awesome they're also just fun to wear to like dress up an outfit so the first thing this first one is just a really nice soft uh long sleeved blazer and it's like a very cozy material it's not like that really thick like crispy kind of material that i feel like a lot of blazers are it's really soft it's actually like really thick so it's nice and warm to wear if you guys have like a cold office my old job i literally like froze to death in my office every single day so i was always picking out things that were warm enough to wear this is awesome i loved like rolling up the sleeves for this and this one is a size four and i believe this was i want to say anywhere from five to ten dollars i got these on sale at like a crazy good deal and i think normally they were like 40 or 50 and i want to say this was only like anywhere from like five to ten dollars okay next up i have this other blazer this one is definitely more of like the stiff kind of material but what drew me in was the sleeves i love the like they're not balloon these are the cinched sleeves on the end of this and this is like a three-quarter length sleeve this one is also in a size four and this one was 10.99 they had like such a crazy good deal on these i literally could not pass them up this one i think will be really fun for the spring and summertime it looks really really nice and you can like dress this up or dress it down it buttons up in the front and it's got a few pockets right here which i haven't even opened yet because i literally haven't even worn it the tag is still on here moving on to the last section of clothing that we have you guys have seen me wear this literally so many times already i've gotten so many compliments so many questions on where it's from this is my new favorite windbreaker i can't talk new favorite windbreaker from windsor this is like their oversized windbreaker like you can tell it's like that windbreaker material you can literally already hear it i love the detailing on the sleeve it's like so different from my style if you guys know me this is like so out of my comfort zone but i literally love it so much and then it's got like the cinched sleeve again it's just like very nice and oversized and it's actually really really warm i love 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 this and then it also has a hood which i really enjoy because all of my other like bomber jackets don't have a hood and so when it was like pouring rain outside this was really nice to have because it's like that material that'll like wick it away a little bit and then i also had a hood to cover up my head when it was this one i believe i picked up in a size small and i want to say this one was more on the pricier side this one i think was 40 dollars. so this next item here is another sweater from windsor it's like that waffle knit kind of sweater it is a lot thinner which will be perfect for the spring and summertime as it warms up it's definitely not like a thick warm sweater to be wearing during the winter time but this was a size small and i believe it was like 29 dollars. but it is cropped and it has this really cute like cut out at the top which i like and then the sleeves are like a little bit almost like a little bit balloon sleeved like at the top they're a lot bigger and then it kind of like gets smaller down towards the end where your wrists are i love this it's really really cute paired with high-waisted jeans and some booties all right so the very last item that i have to show you guys today is this leopard print sweater from windsor it's super soft so comfy and cozy i will say it runs a little small they only had medium and larges left when i'm when i ordered but i'm glad i got the medium because i feel like the small would have been too small because it's like a little snug it's not it's definitely not like an oversized sweater it's like a true fit sweater but it's really cozy super soft it keeps me super warm i wore this out to dinner the other night with my parents and i was wearing a tank top underneath without a bra because i was like oh well like i'll just wear this and i'll be fine like i won't have to take it off and i was literally dying like sweating because i was so hot wearing this in the restaurant but i didn't want to take it off because i had like a really skimpy kind of tank top on underneath so if that gives you like any idea of how incredibly warm this is you'll love it it literally feels like you are wearing a blanket i honestly might even wear this to class tonight i don't know yet i haven't fully decided but i love this it's so soft and cozy so this again is in the size medium and i believe this one was either 40 or 50 i can't remember between this one and the other bomber jacket that i just show you both of those were like in the 40 50s range all right well that is everything that i have to show you guys for my haul today i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below what your favorite piece from today's haul was hope you guys are having a wonderful morning night or evening whenever you're watching this and i will catch you guys in my next video Games
So why you keep playing ball? 